exciting news. I have some super exciting news to deliver to you guys. I have been wanting to do this for a really long time. This has also been very community driven, driven by you guys in the comments, and that is to rebuild the old game room. Now, if you are new to the show and you don't know the old game room, I talk about it in a different video, which I'll link in the description below. Basically, we used to spend a ton of time in our old game room. This is where we built so many memories for the show, did so many skits, did so many fun and exciting things. But through time, the shed got moldy because it was done incorrectly by me and Ricky and a couple of our friends who tried to turn it into a makeshift game room as best as we could. So this is what the floors look like underneath. There's some holes, but I actually found all this plywood you see here in trash cans. But now, I am unveiling, I am announcing, yes, the game room is already really deep into construction and deep into work. This is the old game room. It is garbage, it is disgusting, it is mildewy, and I promise if I ever did it again, I would get it done right with someone who knows what it's doing. So I got my buddy Joe here. Joe is... Joe's gonna be the man honing down this. I mean, look at this place. Uh, how much work is gonna go into this, do you think? What are quite we gonna, a bit, quite what, a bit. What are we gonna do? What do you think like is the end goal in this whole thing? Uh, to get it structurally sound and uh, get a good floor in here. <laughs> yeah, the floor is pretty disgusting. All of this is disgusting. It's mildew, it's mold, it's disgusting, but uh, we're gonna make it happen with some help. Now, let me get into the video of actually what's going on. So yes, this decision has come to rebuild the game room because I have simply been buying a lot of stuff. And recently, I've been picking up arcades. As you guys may know, I picked up the Street Fighter Third Strike cab, which is really big, a really big showcase cabinet. And then also something I haven't even filmed or been announcing at all, and I've kind of kept to myself, is I've been buying arcade one-up cabs. I'm planning to have about five of these total. And really, I don't have any place to put them. So the game shed, the old game room, is underway. What I'm doing to do this and make this happen and to do it right is I met a guy It's a weird story. I met a guy through a garage sale turns out he's a collector He's a really cool guy turns out he knows his way around a hammer He could fix your sink or he could build you a house this guy's name is Joe and he has become my go-to guy. We have been working on the shed. We wanna do this the right way. If I did this myself, the shed would not be good at all. It would be just like before and would have some issues. So we started diving into the shed. Joe's by my side, an awesome guy, become a really close friend of mine actually. We talk all the time, do trades, do collector hauls together. It's been a really exciting journey with him. Just found these in there. Hiding away at the bottom of the, underneath the wood. It's nice to know going forward that we're building this shed, we're rebuilding it the right way. We're taking out the roots of the ivy. We are replacing all, almost all of the wood inside the bones, the structure, the two by fours. We had to take off all the drywall. Let me reverse a little with that in mind. Getting this done, it seems more simple than it actually is because in order to get to everything, we have to take everything out that we built. We started taking out, like I said, all the ivy, the flooring, tearing it out. There's so much involved in this more than I thought there would be. You know, just taking the stuff out, then finding a place to put it, and then hauling it to a dumpster, and then doing it again, and doing it again, and wheelbarrowing it back to a truck to fill it up, to throw it back. One thing that was interesting was the drywall. Let's see how many rats are in here. I pride myself, yes, I live in a nice area. I will admit I live in a nice area. I am OCD about being clean. That's just who I am. Obviously, this shed wouldn't speak to that because it has basically been a place for everything to rot away. Well, I don't know what to do with it. It's been a, a sore spot for me to kind of hide. But we start pulling out the drywall because we need to take out the old drywall because we don't need it anymore. We're going to put up real walls, whatever that may be, that Joe decides is the best thing to have back there. You don't want to breathe it in? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Ooh. Hey, Joe, uh, can you film me? I'm gonna pull out all the ceiling drywall at one time, just kind of one big, we'll give it one big rip, see how it goes. Whoosh. Oh, there Ooh. we go. Jackpot. Oh, oh there's, there's a bunch of them. Get me out of here. They're all over. I go to do so, and an explosion of rats come out. Oh man, there's like five of them. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. One of the funniest things about this is all the rats kind of scatter. There's like five of them and I run out because I'm scared. But this one lone rat decides to climb up the side of the wall 
and he climbs up to the top and it's almost like he's like, I don't know where to go. It'd be like if we were confronted with two Tyrannosaurus Rex, he's like, I'm just gonna kill myself. There's nothing better to do. Oh, oh, he launched, he launched. This rat dives off head first and he passes out for like six seconds. He knocked himself out. I'm not adding any sound effect. He's like, he smacks down and he passes out for like six seconds and then he gets up. He's like, <laughs> and he gets going again. He scrambles. Oh, oh. That's probably one of my favorite things we've ever caught on camera on our show because it's darn right hilarious. And Joe was actually filming the correct spot and got it all on camera. So it was pretty amazing. But rats just sometimes find their way into parts of your life. And Joe's over here going for round two. But going forward and telling you guys the actual legitimate things that we're doing, yes, the flooring is gone. We're gonna be raising it up on platforms. Uh, Half of the two by fours in there are being taken out. The ceiling, the roof, we are taking out the two by fours up there, putting crossbars with them. We found an old steel door that we had lying on the side of my house that Joe was like, we can absolutely use this steel door. Looks like he finished kind of putting up a door. And obviously this is not complete, but this is a door we had uh, sitting on the side of our house for a very long time. So he is making use of it. Joe very much believes in uh, reusing, recycling, making things work. We're putting up a steel door. We're gonna pressure wash it. We're gonna power wash it. We're putting in an actual window. We're doing actual legitimate, real insulation done right this time with the plastic sheeting over it that I didn't know was even something that we were supposed to be doing. A ventilation system on the top to keep the air moving inside of this place. It is so exciting to do this and guys, I have to say also, and this isn't to like milk anything because I really don't care. It's expensive to do this. Um, to rebuild the game room itself, like just the cost without labor, obviously I'm gonna take care of Joe, is gonna probably be around $2,000. So it's like, oh boy, and then obviously I'm gonna stock it up with goodies. You know, when you get a new game room, you wanna buy new things, new shelvings, that's why I'm kind of buying the arcade one-ups. And I wanna make it really functional to play. I wanna make it really functional to play. I'm not just building this game room. I don't want it to look like the old one per se. Even as much as I loved it, it was more of a, a display, a, a wonder place to show off to people. This will be a show off place. You know, I bought like an arcade sign and stuff, but I also want it to be a playable place where you can go in and just flick on some buttons and play. I want people to hang out and enjoy it there and actually have a real place that's, that's sealed and clean and no moisture and safe and security cameras. Locks and done the right way and the correct way. So Joe, I'm so thankful this is happening. We're on our journey now. Current state right now uh, with the window in there with some thing up here, a ventilation up there, uh, built in a door. The door is there. There is the plastic on the walls that keep it, I guess, moisture, moisture out, good actual insulation. I mean, there is a lot, there is a lot going down right now. And this is, this is so exciting for me to see you guys. It's exciting. It's awesome. Thank you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below. I want to know. And the reason it sounds like I'm wrapping up this video, but it's not over yet. I said one more thing to show you guys. I got this in the mail yesterday and I have to admit, I knew nothing about it. And I can say now without going forward, it's freaking awesome. What do you think you're doing in my house? This, 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 this was sent to me in the mail. This is not a sponsored video. This is nothing. This company, it's called Pocket Go. From my understanding, it's the same people who make the BitBoy products. And they didn't say anything. They weren't like, review it, say a word, say nice things, don't say bad things, we'll pay you nothing. They were just like, here you go. But I played this thing, you guys, the other, and actually I played it last night when I got it in and I've been playing it for hours. And I can say hours, my friends can just and verify that for me, NES Complex, Gabo, Ricky, Mikey, everybody, Generation Gap Gaming, Game Dave, I was sending them videos all night. This is how much I like this thing. I just beat Chippendales Rescue Rangers on this thing. And basically this is from my understanding like a new BitBoy type thing with some corrections that people never got that people wanted. R and L buttons, shoulder buttons. These buttons right here, they come with different colors to trade them out to make them look different, which I will be trading them because I love the colors that got sent. But it's like, a, I'd say like very akin to a Game Boy Micro. It has, uh, it comes with a micro SD card. It also has headphone jacks, a micro USB plug, a AV out, a micro SD card slot, and it's a little emulation station. But what I like is this tempered glass screen, the backlight right here, 
and it plays really well. That's important for me. For someone who's not like a tech junkie at all, you're not gonna get this out of me. I'm not even, I wasn't even planning on talking about this, but I liked it so much so much. Look at this, going through, I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see. I liked it so much that I figured I'd at least mention it to you guys, and I think these things are like $35, uh, maybe $40 right now. Again, nothing, the company probably won't even know that I do this video. This is such an awesome little console. Such an awesome little console. Look at that, Contra Hardcore runs beautifully on this. I played this so much, oh wait, here, let me, let me, look at that. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful. I'll try to get you guys some gameplay in a sec. Another proof for me is not just thinking, oh, it's cool, and then putting it down. Last night, I actually beat Chippendales Rescue Rangers on the NES. And by the way, I'm, I'm, that's, I'm not very good at very many games, but that's one of the games I'm very good at. I beat it in probably, I don't know, 20 minutes. Uh, so I beat that in my bed last night, and that is proof to me. Uh, I was playing Super Metroid, uh, Super Mario World. I was playing Contra Hardcore. I was playing a, a Turbo Graphics game. I can't remember which one. From my understanding as well, this is open source, so I'm sure people will be adding more to this, but there's the Game Boy, GBA, NES, SNES, Sega Master System. Ah, oh, yes, I was playing Fantasy Zone and Fantasy Star. Uh, Mega Drive, Atari 2600, Lynx, PC, Engine, PS1, MAME Arcade, Neo Geo, oh my gosh, they have their Wonder Swan. Oh, and I was playing, uh, yeah, I was playing uh, King of Fighters. The gameplay looks amazing on these things. Yes, the emulation is not perfect on every game, but I'd say 9.5 times out of 10, the games I play, play and run smooth. The screen is beautiful. Again, this isn't a review of this in any way, shape, or form. This is just a quick of me saying, I got this, I like it, it's basically a pickup. This is a pick a video at the end of my game room update. Again, guys, thank you for the game room. I'm so excited to see where this goes. It's gonna be amazing. I am so thrilled. Yes, 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 yes. The game room is back. For you guys that are new, game room's coming. I'm so excited. Uh, real talk, thank you guys beyond. Uh, this, this, this community has become nothing but therapeutic to me in my life and even in our friends' lives. You guys are so loving and kind and it's just a weird thing to see, in, especially in a gaming community, which people uh, can, can say and criticize as toxic sometimes. Uh, we don't experience that here. Uh, the people that surround us, not from just our friends in the videos, but to people at conventions and the type of comments that come through and the type of engagement and, and support we get, um, it's just overwhelming. So I want to thank you guys for that. I've been meaning to say that for a while. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, actually, wait, no, you have to unsubscribe. And uh, there's so much more coming, guys. We have so many videos coming. It's like, I'm overwhelmed because I have like five expansions packs filmed. Uh, we're filming a pursuit tomorrow. I filmed a pursuit a week ago, and man, there has been some goodies, goodies, holy moly goodies found lately that will kind of blow your mind. Let's just say the next expansion pack, I found a lady throwing away retro video games. This has been insane, the greatest pickup of all time, and for free, for free. All of the stuff I got today for free. It's the good stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Unsubscribe. I'm out of here. Please. Okay, bye for real this time. Unsubscribe.